Okay, here's my setup. I'm almost done getting the acid. I got just a little bit left to add. This has taken quite a long time. Hydrobromic acid. The test with osmium. Get it on the list. I'm doing it the right way this time. None of that. I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> None of that. And hey, I even use near stoichiometric amounts. Who would have thought? Okay. I was using an eyedropper, but it got destroyed by the acid very quickly, just like last time. I started using this thing, but I didn't want to get this ruined also, so doing it that way now. Okay, so now as the uh, now as it's cooling in the ice, um, the sodium bisulfate and sulfate are beginning to crystallize out. And I just stirred it so I got a big slurry of it. That's why it looks uh that's why it looks opaque at the moment. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of uh sodium sulfate and sodium bisulfate crystals floating around in there all. Oh yeah, look at that, they're forming at the bottom now. Look at that. Yeah, so we have some uh some hydrobromic acid. As it's cooling, we're getting the crystals coming out, and I'll just filter it out. Um, I regret to inform you all that I will not be distilling this to get azeotropic hydrobromic acid. I am not doing that fucking shit. I don't have a distillation apparatus, and I do not wish to die. I will be testing osmium in this. If anybody has any objections, please voice them now, and I will go on to ignore you. Okay, here is my test sample of rather dilute hydrobromic acid. It has a very slight yellowish tinge to it. Very slight, not much. Now I put that in there using the syringe there. Should probably stick back in here. And the rest of this, I'm going to test with the piece of zinc just to make sure it's really acidic. And that it's, in fact, what we're looking for. Now, all that white stuff at the bottom, that's all the sodium sulfate and sodium bisulfate uh, crystals that have come out of solution. So, yeah, the rest of that should be pretty dilute hydrobromic acid. There probably isn't that much in there. Alright, I've given myself another sample to test the zinc with. Again, this is the hydrobromic acid. Okay, stick that there. I'm going to lower this piece of zinc into there and see what happens. Actually, I'll do it with the pliers. Alright. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's reacting all right. It's also rather cold, so maybe the reaction isn't going 
all that fast and the fact that it is pretty dilute so okay enough of that oh shit <laughs> Yep, that's uh that's pretty fucking corrosive. Okay, now you know what sucks the most about this test is that I'm doing it after the manganese heptoxide. I mean, that episode was fucking epic. Put hours of work into editing that video. I'm following it up with this. I was planning on stopping, and I, I even told a few people on, on uh, Wall Street Osmium that I have no plans on doing any more tests, but I guess once I stopped, I just couldn't stay away. <laughs> it's just it's fucking stupid. I don't know. I just really want hydrobromic acid on the list, and I don't know if Historical Marine has the resources or the time to, to make it while his, his boss isn't looking, so... <laughs> Because this was time-consuming, but then again, I don't have a fiend hood, so, you know. But you have to keep it really cold, so that way you don't get bromine gas. And I, and I did make a little bit of bromine gas, just a little bit. But, yeah, most of that went into hydrobromic acid, so, yeah. yeah there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff crystallized in there. Um, and some on the sides there, which is some clear stuff, but you know, whatever. Okay, guys, this acid has been sitting there for a while. I'm going to put the zinc back in and show you how fast it's reacting now. Look at it go. It's going a lot faster now than it did earlier. Oh, it's speeding up, too. Yep. All right, I feel like this had long enough to warm up. It, it has warmed up a bit. All right, you hypochlorite manganese heptoxide loving little shit. Time for another test. The mass of the sample is 4.987 grams, and I'm sticking it in now. Oh boy, look at it go. Look at that thing react. Okay, now just to show that this is the same acid that I had over here, I'm going to dunk the zinc in again. And you shall see for yourselves that it is indeed the same acid. Yep, that's hydrobromic, all right. All right, back in there you go. And let's start by pouring just a wee little bit in there. Yep, that has been acidic. Oh boy, wow. Yes, that is very highly acidic. Okay, the osmium's been sitting there in there for quite some time now. I'm going to take it out, and we're going to weigh it. All right. Okay, hey, everything has been neutralized. It took a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, time to weigh it. And we do not have any mass loss. Okay, well, that is all for today's episode, and I have a lot of cleaning up to do. Well, already done half, well, three quarters of the cleaning up. Just got to do the rest now. Oh my god, this has taken a lot of time. I'm glad I did it, though, so I can get this on the list. <laughs>